Hello YouTubers! What we are going to do today is we are going to get you up and running with this Curio. So we're going to update your firmware, update your software, and then we're just going to make an easy, fun cut um, out of some vinyl using an electrostatic mat here. So, also, that's my printer. That has nothing to do with this machine. I just don't have a lot of room. So I don't want anybody to be confused. So, um, let's go talk about software and then we'll get cutting. Alrighty, so you will need to upgrade to version 4.5.735 in order for your software to realize that you now have a Curio 2. Um, any version before this, it's not going to realize that you have a Curio 2 or any of the newer machines, the Cameo 5, the Portrait 4, any of the new ones. So, you're going to go to Silhouette America, and then it's the software, and it says Get Software. And that is the page. And then you're just going to hit Download. Down here in really little type it tells you the current version. Um, they're probably gonna come out with new versions. I'm almost positive this probably literally just came out of beta, which is the tester version. So there's probably gonna be some little gremlins lurking um, as software generally does. You can click the release notes here and it'll tell you all the various things and, and changes that they did and including all of the support for the new machines they've got and when it was released. Something else that's kind of cool that Silhouette does, you can click learn more and down here it will say download legacy versions. Now what this is, is old versions of the software. So if you download this version of the software and absolutely run into a bug you cannot deal with, you can have to, you have to go into your computer, uninstall Silhouette Studio altogether, and then you can come and download one of the legacy versions, one of the older versions of the software um, and, and use it, which I think is a really cool option they give us. Even go down here to version 3.6, which I would be really old. That would be before, um, the Cameo 4. So, um, if you hate it, there is options to undo it. So, and you can go to help and then about Silhouette Studio. And then that is the version that you are currently running. It'll tell you, so I have business edition and it'll tell you this. And then this little SSBE means uh, Silhouette Studio Business Edition. If you have different versions, you may have different initials down here. So, also when you first come in under the send panel, my Curio 2 is already here and says ready. Yours will not, it'll say it needs to update firmware and it will just say update. You can just click the update. The update does take some time to the point you kind of start getting nervous something's gone wrong but it does take some time. Also, you need a USB cord for it. Um, do not listen to anybody who tells you you can Bluetooth it. Absolutely, you need a USB cord to hook it up to your Curio um, to update your firmware. They didn't give you a USB cord, um, so you either need to have one laying around or have a plan for that. So update your firmware. Something else I wanna make sure you know is um, there's this little machine down here these are all the different versions of the machine that I have. Um, so if you get some weird message and say it says unavailable, this is because it's looking at my original Curio is what it's wanting. So it's just not um, set to the right one. You can also click on them and rename them if you want to. So like my original Cameo 2 is here. Um, one's the right gold Cameo and one is the pink left cameo because that's where they would sit on my desk so um because you have business edition you can run multiple machines at the same time and so that's why one was named right and one was named left so there you go so we're up with our curio 2 now if we come back over here i'm still set up for my cameo 4. something i know people were concerned about is if the old versions of the machines would still be supported so it says legacy machines now, um, and that's the good old standard Cameo. Um, they technically still support the one, two, three, and they'll still support the four. This is the cool one. It's still gonna support the original Curio. So that is the mats set up for the original Curio. Um, so uh, don't worry. And that's one thing I do really appreciate that Silhouette does, is that they will still let you use the old legacy machines. I still love my Cameo 2s. I will be devastated if they didn't work. Um, so they still let you use those machines, which I think is really cool. But that is where it will be. And 
it still comes with the embossed mat. So now you can come up here and these are all the new machines. I don't own all of these machines. So they're given to you all already. I don't have, obviously the Cameo 5s aren't even out yet. Um, so you're gonna get more machines than you have. So we're gonna go Curio 2. And this is what I think is really cool. It gives you like a whole little version of the, of the machine here. And this is your 12 by 12 mat. And these were the little marks. I'll show them to you again, but these are the little marks on um, the base here and our little clips. And you can come over here to transparency. If I do the mat, it'll show it. But if I have the, well, we all learn something new together. If it says auto protector sheet, it's just gonna give me this. If you come down here to Curio, it'll actually give you a mat. Um, as of filming this, we're still not 100% sure what the official plan from Silhouette is with the, the Curio if you want to cut with a standard sticky mat. Um, see a lot of people being very protective of this electrostatic mat because if anything happens to it, it's not gonna work. Um, I'm not sure if you can tape this and I don't know. So we're still working out how you would actually cut with a standard sticky mat or if it would need to be done with the debris tray. So the Dupree tray looks like that. So that would be the Dupree, this would be the Dupree tray and you would have little marks in it, it looks like. So I don't know if this holds it down. I don't know, we still, there's still a lot we don't quite know from Silhouette. So we're just gonna go back up here to electric static mat here. And this is one thing I've said before and I, I guess I'll continue to complain about it. I wish it had a grid because you're kind of just using the force and hoping and praying that it's going to end up somewhere that you need it to be. But for right now, we are having fun and we're just gonna use, it's called Flexi Shapes over here. It is part of the Designer Edition Plus upgrade. So Plus and Business Edition have it. And what they are is they're just kind of fun little shapes you can use and we're just going to cut out, I don't know. I'm gonna cut out a little flower here. And the cool thing about it is I have a little red dot and I can squish in my flower and I can also change the number of petals it has, so we can, which I think is kind of cool. And let's just put him right here. We may have to move him. I don't know where I've cut on my vinyl. Let's put him here. See, and this is where a grid would be nice because I've cut here on my vinyl. So we're going to move him down here. So now we're going to go put our vinyl on our electrostatic mat over here. I'm going to show you the markings and our buttons and we're going to yap about that for a second and then we'll come and cut. All right, so I have my, my power buttons right under here. Um, it does take a minute for this to turn on to the point you kind of for a second go, oh my gosh, is it working? So understand that's kind of normal. And so here is our electrostatic mat button. So we're going to click it. That is on. That is off. Um, the person was very, very good eyesight that designed that. So it's going to take it a minute because see when I've got it on, it takes it a minute for it to build up a charge, but you can see as it's even, it's slowly built up a charge. And this is the protective sheet. It feels a lot like really fat vinyl or like a shower curtain, like those clear shower curtains. And it's going to build up its charge. Now I have discovered there's clips right here. And there's one on this side and there's one on that side. And what they are for is to prevent this tray. So when I've got them clipped inward, this tray won't move. And then you clip them out and the tray will pop right out. And then we locked in our tray. All right, so this is our vinyl. It is just regular outdoor adhesive permanent vinyl. Um, nothing too, too exciting. So you're gonna put it on and then you're gonna want to make sure you have no air bubbles. And then the charge will build up. It kind of, it's slow enough that you, for a minute you think, oh gosh, it's not gonna work. So, but it eventually will build up. Now, originally, I wanted to cut this, which is craft paper, like the craft, our brown craft paper. It wouldn't build up enough static to sit down. It would still move. And I think it's because 
it's got a bit of a curve down here. This electrostatic mat, I'll give it up, is very cool. It's also going to be a little tedious, I want to say, because not everything's going to stick to it. This is some very brand new vinyl that I literally had just bought. And then I bought it at my local vinyl store and brought it home. So it was never stuck in a box and curled and anything like that. So that's why this works. Any vinyl that has been like really like horribly curled, this isn't going to work with because it won't sit flat enough. So it works for this instance. I don't know if it'll work for every instance. That makes sense. And then this is our auto blade. It came with their box. It came in the box. Um, as I said before, none of the tools are ready for this. So we're kind of limited with what, what we can do. Now there's also another button over here. All right, so something else I wanted to show you was the auto detection is on this machine as well. So we can click this button and it'll move carriage two up there. And that's our auto detection yeah. feature. And see, so it'll lower it to see how thick our material is. We can do that from our machine itself, and we can also do that from the software. When you would do what? Honestly, don't know right now. We'll figure that out together in the future. We also have a button right here. Honestly, no idea what it does. And we have the Bluetooth button too. I'm not a Bluetooth fan. I like having things hardwired, so I'll probably never use it. So. so we are in the sin panel. See our little flower over here is lit up. I've said vinyl, uh, silhouette, Oracle 651. It's just the standard outdoor vinyl set cut settings here. I have my auto blade in so it's detected. If you don't have your blade in already, it's going to come up with some different settings. I've just left these as is because I haven't had any problems with them cutting so far. And then ours is ready. If you have not updated your firmware, it will not, the send button won't let you send. You have to do that first. All right, so when you hit send, this little box is going to pop up and if you're curious, you click the pictures, the load, and it'll walk you through the various steps. And we can hit back here, and it'll go back here. Now, we have the auto material thickness detection enabled. Um, and so what that means is that the second carriage is going to do the lower and upper thing again before it cuts to detect our thickness. Um, we can do it from here and we can do it from the machine. So I'm just gonna let the machine do it here. Currently there is, you can click here, but nothing for the Curio 2 as of filming of this video has been uploaded for this. So um, I would imagine in the future they'll probably have some tutorials, but right now they don't have any. So, um, and then you're gonna click the send button. I'm gonna go put you in front of the machine so you can see it do its little dance. It's quite involved before it cuts, but it's kind of cool. All right, so we're loaded, everything's in. I'm gonna go ahead and the send button. And there we have it. I still have my electrostatic mat on. You can just peel this off. So there is our flower here. I'll peel it up real quick. It does a pretty good job cutting this, which is really cool. Um, Cause if you've been doing this for any period of time, you cut either paper or vinyl and had to pull it off a fairly sticky mat and it will absolutely just curl on you. Paper is like the worst because it'll just curl up and there's no undo button for it or stick to the mat. So I really think the electrostatic mat is very cool. Maybe I'll become a paper crafter because traditionally I kind of hate cutting paper. Um, but hopefully Silhouette will come out with the new power tools and some of the other tools so that we can really play with the machine. Um, Cause this is cool, but it's not quite what the Curio is designed for. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. How many projects you're curious to see? Um, let me know. So hopefully that'll get you up and running and cutting if you do have a curio or at least kind of give you an idea. So 
Uh, please like and subscribe and follow and all that stuff. And uh, thank you so much for watching.